You see, the biolab contained an inconsistency. Once we made her, it can't be overlooked. An inconsistency in the biolab? Could you be talking about? La la la, I can't hear you, la la la. Such a child. Oh well, just ignore him. Hmm, I need to pull myself together and think. The inconsistency in the biolab? Could you be talking about? Hey, by the way, Makoto, uh, what about that one thing? What one thing? No, Makoto, don't fall for it. Oh, what do you think I'm talking about? Your family. What? Yeah, don't, don't fall for this distraction. Don't tell me you forgot about that video message. Hmm? What about it? So what do you think? Are you sure your family's still okay? What, why are you bringing that up now? Your mom, your dad, your little sister? What do you think has happened to your family? Are they really as safe as you might have assumed? Uh, stop talking about that. Calm down, Makoto. He wants to get you upset. Yeah, he's he is very upset because we are getting incredibly close to uh, winning. Yeah, I need to calm down. Uh, I can't let him get to me. He's just saying that because he knows we're getting close to the truth of the biolab. So if I want to shut him up, I need to expose the inconsistency and slam him with it. The inconsistency has to be that one area where the numbers just don't match up. That's right. Now, how do I... How do I explain this? Okay. Oh, it's just this. Nice, 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 nice. I... Oh, this one. Wait. What the... Oh, I was hitting the wrong button. Okay. I'm trying to hit it. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 no. Okay, I was hitting the wrong buttons. There we go. Boom, boom. I like it when it's a little faster. Not listening, you're getting all upset, whatever. I don't care. I want proof. Oh, there. Uh, ooh. Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, oh my gosh, I almost missed the things. You sure about whatever? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Boom. Final strike. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, I didn't lose. Uh, I can't hear you at all. By lab lights. <laughs> I wasn't sure they brought that up. Just there was only one time they ever had me switch the the bullet, which was when they introduced it, and it hasn't happened since. So I wasn't sure. Um, wow, that one was rough. I thought I was losing a lot more because I was I was uh, hitting it too fast because I was ready for it to go faster, but it started out so slow, and I was hitting the wrong button. Um, but I somehow saved it, and when I looked at my health, it didn't look like I lost that much, so we got out of that pretty unscathed. Uh, the inconsistency uh, Kyoko was talking about is the lights. I'm also assuming that might not be the last one that we do of that, because uh, we didn't go into that super fast mode or whatever. Ah! What are you talking about? What about the lights? Like I said before, the biolab also acts as a morgue. Um, and as part of that, a giant refrigerator was installed in there. That's where everyone who's died is stored. So... Counterpoint, um, Mondo got turned into butter. Did you take the tub of butter and throw it into the morgue just so you could be able to do this? Because there could have been nine bodies and then just the tub of butter just didn't make it to the morgue. And so then the numbers would match up. Uh, did they think about that or nah? <laughs> and it was set up so that when you uh, had a... That one slot had a body in it, a blue light would turn on. In other words, if the blue light is on, that means there's a body in that slot. But I counted up the number of blue lights that were on, including the one Mukuru was in, and that's nine. Which would leave seven people left? Or six people, yeah, seven people left. And there were only nine. Why does that matter? You gotta give me the bite-sized version here, man. Nine lights doesn't make sense. The number of lights uh, that should be on is ten lights. Ten of the lights should have been on. Any other number is incredibly suspicious. Suspicious? Why? That's simple. Just recall who's died here so far and it should all become clear. That's right, that's the key to solving this mystery. One, Sayaka died first. Two, Junko died second. Three, Leon was third. Uh, Chihiro was fourth. Mondo was fifth. Uh, Taka was sixth, then Hifumi was seventh. Celeste was eighth. Sakura, nine. And then uh, Mukuro uh, was ten. Hmm. So 10 people in all? That's right, any other number should make you immediately suspicious. And it was suspicious, uh, but according to the lights in the vial lab, only 9 people were being stored there. Uh, you're saying a dead body just up and disappeared? I got it, the mastermind destroyed one of the bodies to get rid of the evidence. Yeah, they turned it into butter, clearly. Uh, but if they wanted to do that, they would have destroyed Mukuro's body, since they actually killed her. I still don't know why they didn't feed all the bodies to uh, the, the, the giant man-eating flower. Because if they did that, there'd be no lights. Like, there, there'd be no reason to come to this conclusion. So I think the Mastermind is, um, 
maybe not the smartest person in the world, you know, you have a man-eating flower and you're just like, oh no, we're going to keep the, the, the bodies here, that way um, it can be revealed eventually. Although I guess if you need to use bodies, like you, you did in this case, then it makes sense, but I don't know. Uh, they wouldn't do that, they would have destroyed Mukuro's body since they actually killed her, and yet her body was left alone. Then whose body disappeared? It may very, will, uh, very well be that none of them disappeared. But if that's true, then why does the body count match? I think we're getting incredibly close. Um, including Monokuma's executions, uh, there have apparently been ten deaths, but there are only nine bodies. That's the point I'm trying to make. I'm completely lost. How can the number of victims be less than the number of murders? The reason there are less bodies than murders. The explanation for more murders than victims. Why is that? Uh, what would it take for that to make sense? Uh, only nine murders took place. Mass uh, yeah. Yeah? But nine. That's why there were nine bodies. Wait, but I didn't get, like, a got it thing. That's patently untrue. Counting Monokuma's execution, there have indeed been ten murders. I think we can all agree on that. Actually, you're completely right, so... Oh! 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 Duh! 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 Got it! Got it! Got it! Got it! The reason there are less bodies than murders. Explanation for more murders than victims. Why is that? What would it take for that to make sense? The, the same person was killed twice. Okay. Duh. That makes sense. What about if the same person was killed twice? I killed twice. Officially, ten murders have been committed so far. But one of the victims may have been murdered and then murdered again. Murdered and murdered again? If that's the case, there could have been ten killings but still only nine victims, right? Technically, you're right, I guess, but still, something like that could easily have happened. No, it is what happened. Sounds like you're already convinced. Can you tell us who was killed twice? Uh, it was Mukuro, of course. Before she was killed as Mukuro Ikusaba, she was killed as someone else. And, uh, and that's why the body had to be stored in the biolab until the moment we found it in the garden. No, 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 that's crazy talk. She was killed as someone else? Come on. Besides, who would that someone else, uh, even have been? All you have to do is look at those bodily injuries of hers, and that will become obvious. Nothing's going to become obvious. Because Kyo looks totally delusional. Mmm, I think we're incredibly close to, uh, cracking this case here. Uh... Oh, okay, just the Monokuma file. I don't know if we'll use this or not, maybe. Hmm, who is this someone else that Mukuro was killed as? I know, but do you know? Was it... Saya oh, wait. Do we just, like... Oh, I missed! <laughs> oh, wait, wrong one. Chihiro, alright, yeah, he's literally just listing off the names. Um, and seeing as the one I shot at. Uh, if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> No, no, no. It was, it was murdered twice. Wait, do I have to suck that up, maybe? That from all the wounds she had on the body, with someone else who's having the same sort of injury, yeah. I'm gonna try shooting the Monokuma file, and if it's not, then I'm gonna have to absorb the kill twice. Or absorb, uh, Junko. Alright, let's see. Uh, okay, I have to absorb one of these, or whatever. Ooh, Mikoto, where's, uh, can cut as deep as any blade? Ugh. Oh. No, alright, so I need to get this right. Uh... Killed as. So do I absorb killed twice? I'm gonna try and absorb killed twice. Uh-huh. And then we can talk about the actual big twist. Uh... No, no, no. Uh, this. Okay, murder twice. And if it's not this order, then it's the opposite order. Order. Uh, someone else. Okay. Got to make sure I have enough stars to slow down the the time. And here we go. Okay. Yes. So this is where things got a little convoluted from the first time. But Junko wasn't her fatal injury pretty similar to Mukuro's? What do you mean? Because she got stabbed with all the things. Well, remember what happened to her? She was impaled by a bunch of spears all over her body. And Mukuro died from a number of wounds across her body. They are pretty similar. When you compare that to the stab wounds Juko suffered, then the similarities match? Yes, and those are the only fatal injuries that match up. That explains why those two uh, bodies are actually one and the same. So let me see if I have this straight. Uh... Junko, or someone going by that name, was stabbed to death with multiple spheres. Then, uh, her body was kept in the biolab for however long, uh, before being dragged out again. 
Uh huh. Only this time it was presented at the corpse of one Mukuro Ikusaba. I. It's very weird. Um. So the bio lab, right? I assume that you would just stop. That you would start at the top left and then just keep storing bodies from like you know either like top left, bottom left, you know second, like that, or you go top and then bottom something like that. Um. If Junko was killed first, first I think she was. Um. And then, uh, she was used again as, like, Mukuro Ikusaba, as, like, the body. Because we found Mukuro Ikusaba's body at, like, the bottom right light on. Which means that they would have had maneuver around bodies, like, to put them in different slots to change where the placement was. Unless they knew that this would happen all along, which makes kind of no sense. Um, that's just a little inconsistency that doesn't really matter, but, uh, I think it's pretty funny. If it all matches up right, those wounds Junko suffered could easily be the same injuries. And it's really true, Mukuro and Junko are the same person. Wait, so then, what does it all mean? It means that there haven't been ten victims, but nine. Which also means that among the people we thought were dead, one is still alive. And that's the true identity of the mastermind? Who is it? Who's behind all this? We already know the answer to that. It's Mukuro. She's still alive. No, we saw Mukuro's body in the biolab. She took Junko's body. And made it look like she was the one who died. So Mukuro's still alive. She's gotta be. Uh, close, but not quite. Put a silence, and I must be right. I'm right, aren't I? Mukuro alive? The one that's still alive is Mukuro, but can we really believe that? No, there's no way. There's no way Mukuro Ikusaba is still alive. Yeah, it's the opposite. But all right, how do we how do we make this argument here? Um, hmm. Let's see. The body we found in the garden. The profile wasn't Mukuro. No, it definitely was. Is she still alive? She made it look like... Hmm. Mastermind's true identity? Is Mukuro? No. Uh... What do you say, Monoku? Uh, hmm. What? Why would that be, like, a thing? For that to be true, and that couldn't have been her body we found in the garden, is that really possible? But... No, wait. No, it was. Uh, oh wait, do I shoot Mukuro Ikusaba's profile at... Alright, let me try shooting Mukuro Ikusaba's profile at the, um, first thing. Because her profile would make it seem like that has to be her body, right? Because of the tattoo? Okay. Cool. I was, like, not very confident in that, but look at me go. Uh, no, the body we found in the garden, garden was Mukuro. That's one thing we can be sure of. The bodies... Oh, right, the the, the vitals. Alright, so I got it for the wrong reason. But, um, yeah. The body's appearance and measurements are consistent with her records. Uh, right, Kyoko? She was 5 foot 6 inches tall and weighed 97 pounds. Her vitals were 31, uh, 21, 32. Everything in her profile is consistent with that corpse. And then there's the matter of the Fenrir tattoo, so there's no question it's her. Alright, at least I mentioned the Fenrir tattoo. I'm not crazy. But if Mukuro's not the mastermind, then who's actually still alive? I mean, Toko, you're right there. Just switch the two around. Uh, someone's made it look like they died, but they're actually still alive. There's only one person it could be. It's Hifumi! Um, alright, where you at, Junko? Let's go. Which, I gotta say, I wanted to bring this point up. Uh, Junko is still alive. It's the only possibility. I wanted to bring this point up. Um... One of the last times that I booted up this game, I realized that Junko was just, like, on the title screen of this game. Which, like, I don't know, for a big twist like this, maybe you shouldn't have Junko be on the title screen of the game. But at the same time, it didn't really connect with me until, I don't know, uh, maybe either the last time or the time before that I was recording. I was like, wait a minute, that's a little weird, isn't it? Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping that future Rampa games aren't going to spoil me in that same way, because now I'm going to subconsciously be, like, looking for it. Um, what well, I'm gonna not try to, but, uh, I think that's kind of interesting and kind of silly. Uh, Junko's still alive, it's the only possibility. Are you sure about that? Huh? I admit, since Mukuro is undoubtedly dead, Junko does seem to be the only other explanation. Uh-huh. Which sucks, I love, I love Junko, and, like, I don't even... I, we'll, we'll get to it, we'll get, we'll, we'll get to it a little bit later. Um... Well, we saw we, we saw her get impaled. She died right before our, our very eyes. Yeah. If Junko were still alive, the death uh, we saw would had to have been some kind of charade. But you uh, yourself confirmed she was dead, did you not? 
Japanese. Yes. Oh yeah. Now that you mention it, that wasn't fake. Yeah, her body was laying there for like a while too. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse, like they do in movies and stuff. But she really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. Yeah. Wow. I did check absolutely, and I can say for sure she was dead. There's no question. Junko was dead. So the idea that she's still alive must be wrong. Then you're withdrawing your previous statement. Hmm. <laughs> I need to give you your best shot, but too bad. I guess the conclusion wasn't done. Ha, ah, too bad, too bad. This case hasn't been decided just yet. Oh? You haven't given up already, have you, Makoto? Huh? No, of course not. There's no way I'd give up that easy. That's all well and good, but how do you uh, intend to solve the problem standing in your way? Junko absolutely died. Mukuro absolutely died. Now both of them are dead, right? There can't be any kind of survivor story. I think we need to look at this from the opposite direction. Huh? The opposite direction? Let's assume uh, Junko is still alive. If so, how could she have survived? How could Junko have survived? Hmm. I checked her. She was dead. I'm sure of it. But still, if she were alive somehow, could it be that Junko's not the one that died? There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. It wasn't Junko, but somebody else entirely. Maybe she used some sort of trick. Hmm. Maybe? Oh, another hangman scam bit. Okay. Uh, re replaced? E? Yeah, re yeah, I, I think. Oh, I did get it. Uh, give me an A? Oh my gosh, all the, all the letters are like right on top of each other. Uh, E, E, I want the C. And then D? Right? I mean... It has to be replaced. Yeah, okay. I was like, R was the only one showing up. It's not like replacer. I don't even know if that's a word. That's it. What if she switched places with someone else? Switch places? That's right. Before the spirits could kill her, she got someone to take her place. Specifically, Mukuro Ikusaba. Then that would make it Mukuro's corpse that showed up later. Which is why the body's uh, height and weight and everything match Mukuro's profile, right? I don't know anything about the switching places thing, but... We should check what, um, uh, Junko's, uh, like, vital stuff is. I wonder if they're just, like, the same. Uh, that would be Junko got stabbed to death, right? Yeah, you're saying they switch? When could they have done that? Uh, when? Definitely not then. Right when she was about to die? Like, she's some kind of ninja replacement technique? She's the- uh, wow. Maybe Mukuro is, like, the ultimate soldier in the fact that she's just the ultimate ninja. Like, she, take it, she took it, like, one step further up. She's not just a soldier. She's, like, she's, like, full-on, uh, like, Naruto ninja. Good point. There's just no way uh, they could have switched like that. Maybe the whole idea is wrong. There has to be some way. I need to figure out how to explain how they could have switched. Uh, I think they switched at the beginning. Yeah. The two of them may have switched places from the very beginning. What, from the beginning? Yep. When we were there, that was never Junko to begin with. Yes, from the moment we first met. If that's when they switched. Then that happened a lot earlier than I thought. And they wouldn't have had to switch at the moment of death, right? Why would, um... Why would Mukuro be, like, okay with that unless Mukuro was tricked or something? Like, I don't know why, like... What does she get out of this? Uh, after all, the one we saw at that point would have already been Mukuro. Hold on, so you're saying the Junko we first met... Wasn't he? Yeah, it was actually Mukuro all along? Then we'd already met her? I had like a normal conversation with her. Yeah, I had like a, a, a free time event with her and she was super chill. I, lo I loved her. When we first met, no, none of us knew who anyone else was. Hmm. So Mukuro could have uh, simply told us her name was Junko. And we never would have known the difference. That would easily allow the two of them to switch places from the very beginning. Wait, but Mukuro had a tattoo on the back of her hand, right? Um... Oh! Juku never had any tattoo like that, did she? Wait, what? She could have hit it with foundation or something like that. Hmm... That's mighty convenient. If she didn't, it likely melted away in the explosion, exposing that tattoo after the body was extinguished. Oh! Interesting. So... Huh. So the tattoo could have been covered up 
However, the fact that there was no tattoo on the hand is literally the proof that we used against um, Monokuma from when he was saying that Mukuro was the one that attacked me. Because it was like, oh, the tattoo doesn't match up, therefore it can't be her. But now, the, the tattoo doesn't need to be there, and the only way it got exposed is because of the explosion. Just finding a few little inconsistencies here. Not angry about it, doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, but just point them out, pointing them out as I see them. Um, yeah. Plus, there were the fake nails found on the hands of Mukuro's body. Oh, the fake nails were Junko. Oh, okay. It was uh, the same fake red nails she was wearing when we all met for the first time. Okay, so that part adds up. But, it surely did use foundation. Correct. Even if there was no tattoo on her hand, I couldn't say for certain it wasn't Mukuro. So I'm glad nobody noticed that glaring hole when we were trying to figure out who attacked Makoto. Oh, wait, hold up, are they addressing this? Well, too bad for you, Monokuma, you can't deny it anymore. All right, never mind. I, <laughs> they knew, they knew that it was an inconsistency, but uh, Monokuma basically admitted. Uh, therefore, we, we basically got him with something that he could have had a way out of, but didn't realize that he had a way out of it. How fun. Okay, I guess I, I take my uh, my thing out uh, back. Well, no, I don't take it back because I was right, but the game just acknowledged it, which makes it uh, better because like they at least know, which is all that matters, I think. Wait, so, this whole thing was a setup from the very beginning? But that's true, it was quite an elaborate plan, to be sure. Uh, making it look like Mukuro was Junko. The reason such an elaborate plan was possible is because the two of them were working together. So, Mukuro, the ultimate despair, teamed up with someone like her. In other words, it would be fair to say that Junko, uh, herself, was also the ultimate despair. And, that means that there was no ultimate fashionista all along. Because that's really unfortunate. Cause I thought I thought Juka's uh, like fashionista thing was really cool, and then we had that conversation where she was like, just wants to be like treated like a normal person despite being so like pretty and stuff, which all feels like it's just completely fake now, which uh, is very sad. What's wrong? Lost the world to fight back? I think he's just afraid. Afraid? What's that mean? Afraid? Fear is only possible. Where hope is possible? I only have despair, so fear is an alien concept to me. Fear? Oh. Huh. Okay. Then why haven't you been saying anything? You know, there's a bunch of nonsense. Junko's my secret identity? Oh, as if. Then why did you try and protect Junko's real identity? I tried to protect her identity? When did I do that? So he still refuses to admit it, but... He can try to deceive us all he wants, it doesn't matter. Because I've already figured it out. I tried to hide Junko's identity, and not just once, but twice. The first time was during our latest investigation. Um... Oh no. Uh... Huh. Biolab secret? Hold up, what is the Biolab secret? Repurposes more work, no. Uh... Huh. Group photo... Uh... Both a stab in the blue and one inflicted after death, no. Uh... Bit? For someone's doing a... Shoot, what am I, what am I trying to, like, do now? I've already forgotten, like, what the prompt, like, really is, okay? And I don't think this one, I'm, alright, what, what is this? Yeah, I, I need, like, a refresher of what I'm even trying to show again. Try to hide Junko's identity, not just once, but twice. The first time was during our latest investigation. Um. Locked doors, um. Would it just be the control room, maybe? Okay, no? I thought maybe because, um, uh, like, wouldn't let us get into the latch or whatever, which would have been hiding the identity, no? Oh, man. Oh. This is the first time I've ever got stumped on something like this. This is usually the easy part. Tried to hide Junko's identity. Uh, the first time was during our latest investigation. I don't know. Um, the ultimate despair? He didn't really do anything. Thing to that though um I don't know I know maybe the bio lab hmm maybe the bio lab let me try that and then I'm gonna try one other thing no huh because it says that there's two of them he said there's two of them and the only one I can think of is what I think the next one is gonna be which is this group photo. I don't think this is going to be it. No. Hold on, Mattis now? Yeah. Yeah, that's the second one. From seeing during the investigation. 
I mean... But how? Oh, I feel so stupid. Um... Wait. Oh! While well, I was in the AV room watching the DVD of our interviews with the Headmaster, he cut it off because he didn't want to see whatever conversation happened with Junko, maybe. Um, or who knows. Oh. Alright, alright. I'm, I'm a dummy. It wasn't just the monitor, the DVD player itself had apparently turned off, which of course meant that the DVD wasn't playing anymore. Uh, what the heck just happened? Oopsie, looks like I broke out of service. What's just still having a break now? Now then, when doesn't matter. Failure can strike anywhere, anytime. That's what failure is, right? Mmm, you made sure I couldn't finish watching that video, and the reason you did that is because you didn't want me to see the real Junko, did you? Oh yeah, if everyone was in that video, of course Junko would have had to show up. And if I could have saw the real Junko, it would have been totally obvious that the Junko we met was an imposter. And that whole power outage thing was just a fluke. No, it wasn't a fluke, the Mastermind definitely orchestrated that power outage. That's not the only time they tried to hide Junko's identity. The Mastermind tried to cover up uh, one other piece of evidence. I've got to reveal that. Okay. I kind of jumped the gun, I think, on the on the group photo, but I'm pretty sure it's that. Oh, we get this again? Okay, let's do better this time. Uh, Grar. Sure. I can't hear you. Oh, okay, you're just making noises. You don't want to actually listen to me. Uh, one more. Boom. He's going to keep growling. What do you want? Ah! Oh, there we go. Okay. What do you want? I can't hear you. Whatever. Sure about that? I am sure about that. Ah! Go. Boom. Boom. Grar. I don't care about your roaring. Boom. 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 Let's go. Uh-huh. He's got to be real low. There we go. There we go. There's the group photo. I didn't want to bring any attention to it because I just like knew what to look for. But um, we're going to explore that now. The video wasn't the only thing uh, you tried to cover up. You did the same thing with this group photo. Uh oh. I noticed it just a little while ago when we were all comparing the photos we'd gotten. In all the photos, there's a certain similarity. An unusual circumstance. But what's so unusual about them? The unusual circumstance common to all these pictures is uh, Junko's face is being covered in every single one. Or she's like not looking towards the camera. The unusual circumstance is Junko's face. Junko's face. The one thing uh, common to every single photo is that you can't see her face. So is her face like that much different? That's crazy. I love also how in every single picture, Celeste is just like standing like way far off, like looks like she doesn't want to be there at all. It's hard to believe her face uh, which happened to be hidden in every single picture, don't you think? And on top of that, in this photo you can see that Mugro is clearly visible. So in other words, at that point, the two of them hadn't switched yet. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, with all that in mind, there's no doubt the, the girl whose face is hidden here is the real Junko. Which is why you had to have pictures that didn't show her face. Because if we could have seen her face, then it would have uh, clearly revealed uh, that the Junko in the pictures wasn't the Junko that we knew. Xanadu? Uh, I believe everything Mikoto said is true. Junko and Mukuro switched places before we met either of them. So she killed Mukuro, who had taken her place, make it look like she uh, died. And the real Junko is still alive. And she's the one behind this whole murderous situation, this killing game. She's the true mastermind and the ultimate despair. Xanadu times two! Uh, with this, the identity and the crimes of the mastermind have been exposed. No, wait, hold on. Don't bother trying to deny it. There's no more room for debate. You don't have anywhere left to run. I'll prove everything right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be bad. All right. Let's go. Let's retell the entire story of this game. Uh, oh boy. All right, so, uh, this is just everybody is here. All right, we have, uh, Junko introducing herself to, like, me, I guess. Uh, hmm, let's see, let's see. This is going to be rough. Um, oh. So I guess it would just be this because they switched places. I do, uh, I, I'm not positive, but I don't see anything else that clearly adds up right now. 
All right, Act 2. Junko steps on Monokuma. Junko dies. Uh, except for it's actually Mukuro. Okay. And then... Uh, so then... So this makes... That makes this figure Junko. So Junko carries... Mukuro's body to the bio lab? I mean, this is just like the same picture. I don't know if that's going to be it, because it basically it's just that. Um, is there anything else? Uh, it could be this picture here. Because, like, why would it just be the same picture twice? That doesn't make sense. I'm going to put this one up here. And then we'll see. Alright, so then, covered up. Junko, whatever. Um... Hmm. Shoot, I might have my uh, things out of order here. Maybe this is saying that Junko carried Mukuro's body out into the garden and then went to come attack us. Um, it's probably this knife here, right? Um, probably. Oh, no, I feel like a lot of this could be wrong. Um, oh boy. And then this is probably the confrontation with Kyoko. Alright, so there's two... I think there's two Kyoko ones here. There's this one and this one, right? Yes, so... This would be... She sees it, and then this would be... She confronts it more? I don't know. I'm not confident about that either. Um... Mass person, these Makoto, whatever, probably goes away. Goes to the garden. Um, puts the mask... Wait, I saw a thing. Yes, puts the mask on uh, that body. And then... Uh, hmm. Wait, what is this? I thought it was going to be putting like a tarp on, so let me see. Um... What would this one be? Oh, so like she sees us all to see the body. Then uh, it explodes. Right? And then. Uh, what? And then she carried the body back to the bio lab? I don't feel confident in this at all. I don't think this is right. Oh, boy. Let's at least get most of them right, maybe. I don't know. Alright, we met the ultimate fashionista, Junko Inoshima, right after we all arrived here. But that wasn't the real Junko. Okay. Good start. The girl we saw before was actually the 16th student who had taken Junko's place. And that girl's name was Mukuro Ikusaba. Oof. And then she got killed. But it was long before she died at the hands of Monokuma, in other words, the mastermind, Junko Inoshima. Um, ooh, alright, good, good. Her body was kept in the bio lab, which had been converted into a morgue, until Junko decided to put her body to use. Uh, okay, good stuff so far. Junko dragged the body out of the bio lab using the tarp to carry her to the garden. She fabricated the murder to try and frame Kyoko, who had proven to be one big thorn in her side. Okay, meanwhile, she wanted us uh, all to think that Mukuro was still alive and hiding somewhere inside the school. Uh, yep, yep, just grab the knife. All that good stuff. No, not that one. Uh, okay. Let me just switch the Kyoko one for the other Kyoko one. Um, actually, wait, let me just look really quick. Uh, I don't see anything else that would make sense, so let me just switch the Kyoko ones. And see, and see if that works. Uh, me watch one something. Yep, yeah, still somewhere in the school. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I just switch up the two Kyoga ones. That's fine. Uh, so she put on a mask and then attacked me. Yep. All right. I don't mind mixing those two up. That's no big deal at all. Uh, after making sure I got a good look at the mask, she left the room. Hmm. Then she put the same mask on Mukuro's body. This is all to make us think that the person who attacked me and the corpse were one and the same. She wanted us to believe the murder had only recently taken place. 
And then, yep, she saw us discover the body. She saw us all explode. And then that was not right. Okay. Need to rearrange. Um. I mean, that is fire. So, this? Let me see if that one's the final one. I definitely have some, some wiggle room, even if this one's not right. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Finally, by strapping uh, a bomb to the body, she was able to destroy any remaining evidence. She needed to hide the body's true identity. She had to make sure we didn't find out it was actually the same person we'd met in the beginning. This is the truth behind Mukuro's murder, and the one who carried it all out is the true mastermind, the one controlling Monokuma, the one, the only, Junko Inoshima! <laughs> and now we fight in the wrestling match that I've just created. That's the whole story behind this incident. Well, what do you have to say to that? So, I'm a little upset. just want to say, as I've mentioned before, I really like Junko. But, I'm assuming at this point, Junko is just not a real person. So, does Junko at the beginning of the game get attributed to uh, Mukuro as a character? Or does that still count as, as like what Junko is? Like, I don't know. If you think back on this game, who, who, who does that count as? Because is that even the real Mukuro? Because it sounds like Mukuro was just like playing a part. Um, it's just very sad. It makes me very sad. What, are you broken again? You can't get out of this, so don't even try. Come on, it's time you finally reveal yourself. It's not like you're an endangered species or something. How long do you plan on people hiding? Give it up, Junko. The game's over. Over? Mm hmm. Did you really think the story would end once we reached the climax of the case? Wrong, there's still plenty more to go. 